What's going on, baseball fans? How you doing? So, bad news for Eloy Jimenez and the Chicago White Sox. Let's go talk about it. So, yesterday during a spring training game against the Athletics, uh, there was a home run hit to left field. Eloy Jimenez, on this play, he actually tore his chest, or he ruptured his chest. Let's take a look at this real quick. So, he goes for it. He leaps. Well, no, not really very close to it, but right here, as he's hanging on to the fence... He just completely ruptured his chest. That is just awful. If we go take a look at uh, MLB trade rumors, Eloy Jimenez out five to six months due to a ruptured pectoral tendon. Uh, that is just terrible news. As of 105 this afternoon, White Sox GM Rick Hahn announced that Jimenez has suffered a ruptured left pectoral tendon and will require surgery. He is indeed expected to miss five to six months of action, putting his entire season in jeopardy. That is terrible news. This is a, an injury you don't really see very often in baseball. And I mean, what horrible luck. He's just, go he's just going for a, a ball that maybe he has a chance to maybe rob. He ended up not even being close to it. And what a way to just get injured like that. I mean, Man, that's a tough break. Eloy Jimenez has been really good. One of the better young players in the game. Uh, one of the bigger power threats in the game. If you take a look, 2019, he had the 31 home runs in his rookie season. Had the 79 RBIs. Uh, in this past season in 2020, 14 homers, had the 41 RBIs. I mean, the, the on-base was better this year. The average was better this year. The slugging percentage was better this year. That's a tough break. If we go take a look at the White Sox as of right now, uh, taking a look at the lineup. So as of right now, they have Lurie Garcia penciled in uh, to take his place. And if we take a look here, I mean, man, that is not too much of a, re a replacement. You're going to get a little speed. He had 15 stolen bases in 2019, but really only the eight home runs, the 40 RBIs. I mean, you're not really getting much offense uh, with a Lurie Garcia. When I look at the White Sox, when I look at the rest of the lineup, thank goodness this the rest of this lineup is that good. I mean, this lineup is just stacked. Tim Anderson, Grandal, MVP, Jose Abreu. You got Yoan Mankata, Luis Robert, Adam Eaton. I think th there's been some you know murmurs of Andrew Vaughn possibly being on the Major League roster to start this season. Um, and I think now, I think you have to have him now. I, I think you got to have uh, the, the big potential bat in that lineup. Definitely as the DH, uh, you got to try and replace some of that power. I, in my opinion, I think it's just, I think it's guaranteed that you're going to see Andrew Vaughn now on the White Sox to start the season. I don't think they're going to mess around with that service time. Um, but overall, it, I think the White Sox, in my personal opinion, are going to be fine this is a tough blow. I mean, you're losing a lot of power right there. That's a lot of production that you're losing, but I think they're going to end up being fine. They have a really good rest of that lineup. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. Uh, how do you think the White Sox are going to do? Do you think this is going to be a big loss? Let me know in the comments, but that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.